the purpose behind the React keel was to get the boat to drift perpendicular to the wind. And typically the reason a boat won't is, is most boats float slightly bow up. They present more surface area for the wind to blow on at the bow than they do the stern. Also at the stern, you've got the gear case in the water, which basically acts like a drift sock. So you've got resistance on the stern of the boat to the wind blowing, but you don't have that same resistance on the bow. So typically the bow blows downstream. There were many potential benefits of having a React keel. Uh, one of them was better boat control, better drifting where the boat would drift perpendicular to the wind, uh, uh, better boat control going backwards to be able to steer the bow. We, we wanted all that, but we did not want to give up high speed handling and performance. The purpose of the React keel is to provide enough surface area at the bow of the boat to equal the surface area of the gear case and to provide an offsetting force, if you will, to allow the boat to blow evenly. So if you went the scientific route and measured the React keel, you'll find that the surface area of it in the water when the boat's at rest is about equal to the amount of gear case surface area you have in the water. So as the wind blows a boat, its resistance is equal on each end of the boat and the boat blows sideways instead of blowing bow down. The React keel improves the fishability of the boat regardless of the type of fishing you're doing. Front trolling, it allows you to position the boat over a particular spot. It keeps the wind from blowing you off so quickly because it offers resistance in the water to the wind. Uh, back trolling, it allows you to steer the boat precisely without having the bow swing wildly from side to side. You're in complete control of what the bow of the boat's doing. Uh, as far as uh, idling and looking at your graphs and things to, to find the types of places that you'd like to fish or, or schools of fish, uh, it allows you to position the boat exactly where you aim it, not having the boat wander, you know, bow steer slightly at idle, which a lot of boats are susceptible to. It just allows a lot more precise control. Not only did it drift well, you could, you could run up under power regardless of wind direction, regardless of your approach throttle back, shift into neutral, and kill the engine, and just sit there and wait. And within about a minute or so, the boat would find the wind and turn perpendicular to it every single time. It was, it was amazing how well it worked.